Today on the Green Olive Cooking Channel, we're making chicken with polenta croutons, perfect for a weeknight dinner. Let me teach you how to take a few simple whole ingredients and make a terrific tasting dinner. Pronto, allora andiamo a cucinare. Ciao, my friends. Welcome to my kitchen. First, before we get started, let's get some wine. Okay, now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna teach you how to make this great dinner that's perfect for a weeknight. It's super simple and quick, and all you need is a bowl. So to start, we are going to um, chop up an onion. Next, we're gonna crush two cloves of garlic. Next, I have these great tomatoes that I got from the farmer's market, so I'm gonna put some in. You know, the wonderful thing about this recipe is you can pretty much put in however many um, of the ingredients you want. So I'm gonna do half of these uh, red tomatoes and then about half of these golden yellow tomatoes. These taste like candy, they're just fabulous. And I think the farmer's market is probably one of the best places to, uh, to get the tomatoes. All right, now that we have that, now we need to add our spices. So we're going to add a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of paprika, and I'm gonna add the olive oil. I'm gonna eyeball it, but I'm looking at about four tablespoons worth of olive oil. And I love this gravity lid that this olive oil bottle has. If you're interested, I do have a link below. It is one of the bottles of olive oil that I sell. All right, now we're gonna add our meat. And so I just have four chicken breasts. They were pretty thick, so I cut them in half. And we're gonna add the chicken breasts to our bowl and we're just gonna mix everything to incorporate all the seasoning and the olive oil all over the meat and the vegetables. Okay, now we'll just set this aside just to marinate for a few minutes. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is polenta. Now, when I make polenta, I always do a double batch because I know I'm gonna do something with it later because my family just loves polenta. So this was a double batch that I made from last night's dinner. Um, but if you don't want to make polenta or you don't know how to make polenta, I'll actually include a um, video here that you can check out on how you can make polenta which with just a store-bought um, polenta mix. Or if you don't have the time to make it, you can buy um, it in the grocery already made. And it usually comes in a tube like this and you would just cut it up. But we're just gonna use the one that I made last night and we want to cut the polenta in cubes so they would look like large croutons. Now we're going to get our baking dish and I'm going to add the cut up polenta to my dish and we just kind of want to spread them around and if you think the pieces are too big you can just break them apart with your hands it's not a big deal. Now what I want to do is I actually want to remove my chicken from here. I'll just set that aside. because so I want to get my vegetables in first. So I'm going to evenly toss my vegetables in here and get all that seasoning and olive oil. Now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking I need a few more tomatoes. So I'm going to throw a few more in here. I'm just going to go for it and use all of them. All right, now at this point, now I'm going to take my chicken and I'm just going to lay them across the top like so. And you know what, I just decided I'm gonna throw some Parmesan cheese on here. All right, so let's just sprinkle some Parmesan on top of this. I'll give it a nice crunchy f extra flavoring. All right, perfect. Now, before we do anything else, let's have a drink of wine. Now that our oven is preheated to 355 degrees, let's go ahead and put it in so that the chicken gets nice and cooked. All right, so it came out of the oven and uh, it's nice and golden crispy. And I did put the broiler on for a few minutes just to kind of crisp up the top. But one of the things I like to do is I do like to finish it with some fresh parsley just to get some freshness. So I'm just gonna chop some of that up. All right, so now I'm just gonna sprinkle the parsley on here. And I am going to add just a little bit more of the Parmesan cheese. And this is fabulous for a quick dinner. Just put everything in a pan, in the oven, and it is ready before you know it. And it makes for great leftovers. So now let me show you how to serve this. So one of the things I did forget to tell you before I put it in the oven is you do need to add about a quarter of a cup of um, some kind of a liquid, a broth, or a white wine, um, just to kind of help with the juices. So you just want to serve up some of that polenta with that beautiful chicken. It's great on its own. It's perfect if you want to add a side salad, but it is going to be a great dinner. You're going to love it. And um, 
I hope you enjoy it. You can check out the full written recipe below or check out my website, www.greenolivecooking.com for more healthy, quick and easy recipes. Until then, I'll see you next time. Ciao, ci vediamo dopo.